Hey guys, this is another video um, using a bigger size Plano box with all of my hard lures. So, let's organize, shall we? I wish I had something higher up so I could record a little bit better, but I don't. I'm working with what I got. Deal with it. We're all in lockdown. So, start with this guy right here, my Super Spook Junior. I have not had any luck with it, ever. And I've had this thing since like 2012. Put that guy in there. Now we've got, and again, I, I'm one of the people I don't like wasted space, so like this is perfect. All right, so. We're gonna go with stuff similar to that starting out. We're gonna start with this guy right here, which is one of my Rapalas. This is really good in the ocean. Um, I haven't tried it in fresh water yet, but hopefully one day. All right. Again, not really a fan of wasted space. Now the next similar, I've got this guy. I'm gonna go with the ones that have all their hooks. I've got this guy right here. I've used it in the ocean. This thing, um, what's the name of that fish? Halibut seemed to really like this one. And that guy fits perfectly right there. Okay, so I've come to the point where it reaches perfectly right there. Put that in you see how i have like that small little space that small little space is going to be perfect for my little spoon which is tangled up and i go with my golden <coughs> spoon excuse me yeah, little allergies going on a lot of pollen going on right now Set that guy all right in there now we can go back to going with the bigger lures This guy right here um, was gifted to me. Um, I believe it's also a Rapala, but yeah. So since you're going with those styles, I'll put that in right there on the next row. Try to make no wasted space, but there's one. Oh, good. Right there, no wasted space at all. Okay, now I've got this guy, another favorite for the halibut. Um, you can tell it's really been destroyed over the years. Um, it's a very old bait for me. Put that guy right next to it. And I've got bigger hooks on it than it came with because the other hooks have been like bent out from the halibut bite. If you've ever caught one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I've got those divided. I can go with this guy right here. It's missing a hook. I need to get another one. Um, this guy has worked really good for me. Um, mainly with calico and sand, sand bass. Um, if you want to look at the coloration a little bit better. I like that nice green, yellow, and orange on the bottom. A little bit of a dried seaweed on it, but... Next in line, I'm going to show the finished product. I'm just going through all the baits. Put that guy there, put that guy there. And I'm going to do a little. Actually, I don't need to on those right now. Crankbait, crankbait. Fish kind of lure. Those guys. Okay, so now. We're going to go with next closest thing. I'm going to go with my crankbaits. So this guy right here, old reliable. Got it at Walmart when I was like six and still going strong. Um, need to get more hooks for it as well, just because it's seen a lot of use and I don't like using rusted hooks. Because fish don't get tetanus shots. I don't know if they can get tetanus, but still better safe than sorry. I might sound like an idiot right now. Okay, 
Now, we're going to go with this guy right here. He has really been demolished by bass and even a crappie. And this guy actually caught me a carp once because the carp, I guess, was swimming under it and got snagged. What an ugly look, in my opinion. Let me get my other... Like most people throw those plastic things away, I have another separate piano thing where I store them. Just bear with me while I cut one. I just gotta match it up, which that's not it. That's the guy. When it comes to like cutting these right here, they've got like the plastic things that come together. I normally just like to take some scissors. Try to cut it as close as you can so it's like a nice clean cut. And we got a nice fresh divider. Now, now we've done that, we've got a little bit of space right here. And in that little bit of space, I realize I'm missing a lure that I would like to put right there. That I don't know where it is. I might look, I'll step on it later. Hmm, where is that thing? I'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I'm not gonna do, th oh, there it is. Found it. Another little spoon made by Thomas. It's a sixth ounce. Buoyant. Weird coloration, use it for trout. Which, let's see, now, these guys don't really take up much space. It's my football jigs. This one got left in the sun and melted, so I'm going to end up doing a video where I replace the skirt. Um, this one actually doesn't have a replaceable skirt, so never mind. This guy's probably going to end up going in the trash, or I'm still going to use it with the melted skirt. Alright, so, I'm going to put these guys. Also, in the same thing, I need to put... One more divider. Now I can keep this, those guys on the same side. And yes, I have two of them, but they're the same. Um, I can put those both in the same little package. So now that way it goes like that with those. All right, now we can start with the big boys. Let's start out with uh, my spinner bait, which I still have a little bit of line on it. I'm going to first get that off of it. Here we go. And this guy right here has like the sideways dividers, which take like the bigger size like that. I'm going to put those guys along the sides of that. Now the next one, which, they're chartreuse color. This one has this type of swivel spinner on it. This guy has the double Colorado blade, or at least I believe someone can correct me. I, I could very well be wrong on that one. Take another spacer, stick that spacer right there. Then beside that, I'm going to go with my Spro Frog, which again has some line on it. Cut that line off. Put it right next to it with another spacer. Now, I've got these guys and these guys. 
Um, have not had much luck with these. I believe they were made by Gulp, and they have like a little pad, like a little scent package thing that you could like squirt into it behind the eyes and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna set those guys right in here because those, in my opinion, count as hard lures, even though they are they're a lure. Let's put it that way. Now the next guys, these guys right here. I've worked really good in the ocean. Um, I've caught calico on them. And they came with like this weird little like stuff all over the hooks, also like inside the eyelet gaps, which I've got to poke through before I stick a hook into them most of the time. Now it cleans it out. I'm gonna set those guys right next to it. Which now leaves me with one empty space, which is, I'm totally fine with. So that leaves it with this final product. Nice, neat, and organized.